This week, we're looking at the big themes which will dominate the global agenda in 2024. But what I didn't think would be on that list was the subject of darts. And that's all thanks to 16-year-old Luke Littler, who has reached the final of tonight's World Championships, which you can see and hear live on our sister channel, Talk Sport. Now, people are saying little Luke looks a lot older than his years. But I think that's unfair. After all, if we're willing to accept middle-aged men arriving on small boats, self-identifying as teenage boys, then why shouldn't we question, or not question rather, a homegrown darts prodigy? Besides, we can't all have the youthful visage of a cherubic angel uh, like young Piers Morgan. Or is that his prettier sister? Anyhow, talking of gender confusion, this story has also caught my eye today. Meet Munro Bergdorf a model who has been controversially appointed the UK champion at UN Women, a charity that seeks to improve the lives of women and girls and promote equality within civil society, the corporate sector and government. Well, it's controversial because Munro was, to put it in the modern parlance, assigned male at birth, or born a bloke, as others might put it. 17 women's rights groups have signed a letter to the charity complaining about a transgender woman representing them on the committee, especially since part of their written objection is that Munro has in the past objected to women making references to our female bodies. Although Munro did once set up a nightclub called the Pussy Palace. So empowering, don't you think? It was Groucho Marx who said, I don't want to belong to a club that would have me as a member. Well... I'm not sure any woman should want to belong to a group that would have Munro Bergdorf as their champion. But there's another good reason all women should rip up their membership of this group, in my humble opinion. Take a look at their reaction to the revelations of sexual violence by Hamas in October. Is there a reason, though, Sarah, that you can't specifically call out Hamas? You and women always supports impartial, independent investigations into any serious allegations of gender-based or sexual violence. And within the UN family, these investigations are led by the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights. It took the group a full 57 days after the Hamas attack to make any official statement. And even then, that was to condemn gender-based atrocities, or mass rape, as the rest of us call it. It seems to me that this group really has a problem with language and also with reality. So, Munro Bergdorf and the UN Women's Group probably deserve each other.